All right, lab number four for C Sharp lab course here. So for this for this lab course, uh, we did a book sales calculator. So it, it calculated the total sales amount, the discount, and then you get the uh, discount amount, and then also the discounted total sales amount. So let me go ahead and share my screen here. So this is what it looks like. This is the uh, Windows form app here. So everything is Windows form app. And if you don't know, like if I say new project, it's all Windows forms app .NET framework for Visual C. I have not touched any of these other ones. Uh, I know that for my next class, I'll be doing ASAP. I'll be doing JavaScript, PHP, and then CSS, but but I want to touch base on this. So everything is what I'm doing is on the Windows format. So on this, you can see I have one, two, three, four, five, six labels. These two here are labels, not text boxes. Now these two here are text boxes. You can see that for the first one, it's text total sales. And then for this one is text discount amount right here on the properties. And then, so yeah, so everything here is, everything here is, oh yeah, like I said, everything here is label, 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 and label. And then three buttons again. This one has the amper on the C, amper on the L, and then amper on the E. And then let me check the uh, tab order here. I believe, I believe I did a tab order on here too. So tab order, yes I did. So this was starting at zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11, okay? Just, uh, just, it's not a message box. It's another, well, it's another label down here. And I'll explain how you can do this. I know I forgot to explain the last video. I'm gonna explain on this video. So I'm gonna hit escape. This is also a label. You can see that my auto size is false. I have a fixed 3D on the border style and the image align is right here, middle center. And it actually just goes, it just completely just goes from all the way to the very end of the left of the form corner and then also to the right and it just extends all the way up. So you can make this bigger if you want. Uh, if you go back to the, let's see, I think it's this one, the lock one. So but you don't need to. So, but I wanna dive in here because this is what we did for book sales for lab four. And uh, to calculate, so basically everything's on the calculator. So this, we did a try, try catch, and there's finally, okay? So I know there's a lot of code in here to look at. So we did declare some variables. You can see how to spell the declare wrong, so let me fix this. And it's okay to spell, like I said, it's okay to spell the comments wrong, but it's not okay to, to misspell these codes here, like decimal. Okay, so I have four decimal code, code that I typed out here to declare variables, a total sales amount, discount amount, discount percent amount, and discount amount total. Now these are my labels that I typed out. So it would be these two here, okay? It'd be these two, and then also the, also the, uh, the, the text boxes for decimals. So all these four, these four right here were typed in for decimals for variables, okay? And then I have the comments lined out here, the items original price, the discount, my spell this wrong too. So, I'm just saving it. The amount this, of this of the amount of the discount and item sales price. And then I go I went down here 
get the items total sales amount. So what I did is I typed in total sales amount equals decimal dot parse parentheses text total sales dot text and then parentheses and semicolon. So we're trying to get the sales amount from the first text box, which is my total sales text. So the total sales text is this one. Okay, remember, text total sales. So this is what we're trying to get the discount from. And then get the discount percentage. Discount amount equals decimal dot parse and in parentheses text discount amount dot text. Right, so the, the second text box is my discount amount. This is my discount amount. Okay, you can see it's called the text discount amount. Okay, and then now we're gonna move, right, move the percentage decimal point left two spaces. Discount amount equals discount amount divided by 100. That is uh, the math there. And then calculate the amount of discount, discount percent amount equals total sales amount times discount amount. Okay? So basically what we're doing is we're taking this, right? Times the discount, it will equal the discount amount. So that's three, okay? So that's three right there, bait on, on this one, on this portion right there. So it's the first text box times the discount amount. That's the second text box. And this is my, my, my label, the discount percent amount. And this is my discount percent amount. So you can see right here, okay? And then calculate the sales price, which means the discounted amount total equals total sales amount minus the discount percent amount. So whatever this amount is, it's the total, it's the total sales minus this will equal the discounted total sales amount. So I know, like I said, it's, I know it's, I know it's a lot to, like I said, I know, I know it's a lot to look at, but basically what you're doing is you're coding these two text boxes to multiply each other. And then, and then you're taking that discount amount, which is this, because these, these two multiply each other will give you the discount amount, right? And then you take the discount amount minus the total sales amount, and then that will equal your, that will equal your discount of total sales amount. So I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate here. So you guys, will, so you guys don't understand, so you guys understand what I'm saying. So if we have a total sales amount of $100 and our discount is 10%, I kick and then I click calculate. So our discount amount is $10 and you take $100 minus $10, that's $90. So that's what we're calculating off the code here. I know looking at the coding gets confusing. So that's why I'm trying to um, explain what you're trying to code. So basically, like I said, I'm gonna clear exit. So basically what you're doing is you're taking, you're coding a text box times this text box and that, that equals your discount amount. And then you take your first text box minus your first label here and that will equal your second label on your discount total sales amount. So a lot to, I'm, I'm repeating what I'm saying, but I'm trying to simplify so that you're not, so that you can't understand what, what the coding is doing. And then, and then uh, looks at display, right? So you display the LBL discount amount to total text equals discounted amount dot to string equals C. C means currency. So because you're, you're trying to display, you're trying to display numeric value. You're not trying to display letters. You're not trying to display anything else except currency. So that's what, that's what it means right here. Same thing for the discount amount. LBL discount percent amount dot text equals discount percent amount dot to string equals C. So that is the code right there. Like I said, C stands for currency because you're converting that to currency. And that way you get to see the, the numbers, uh, you get to see the, the S, 
the money sign symbol and then and then um, the decimals or like if there's pennies the cents then like I said same thing what I did try catch exception and then type ex and then you have your LBO status here remember the LBO status and the fork color is from this bottom here this bottom label because remember this bottom label is is named as LBO status so if I if I do this again let's just say I do I type in my name here it says input string was not in correct format. Now if I do $90, right, $90 and I get 9%, there you go. Oh, I'm surprised it hasn't popped it up. Add up. Hmm, that's interesting. Uh, math is right, but it's supposed to pop up. It's supposed to pop up as blue as Oh yeah, so the message I'll be able to say as color is red. Finally, right? Text total sales focus, text total sales I select all. And then basically all this is on the on the calculation button. So you're not you're not typing any code for these two text boxes. You're not typing any code for these two labels. You basically put in two text boxes, two labels, all in this button here and to code exactly to calculate the two text boxes to the two, two, uh, to the two labels. So remember what I said here. I'm not gonna talk about clear and exit because it's the same thing for clear and exit because it comes down to calcul the, the cal calculation button or the display button or uh, I forgot. Uh, there's some other buttons that I'll, that I'll talk about later on. So with this, like I said, with this, you're, you're calculating the total sales amount, which is your text box, to another text box, which is your text discount. And then you got two labels here, right? So these two, like I said, these two multiply will equal your discount amount. And then you take your discount amount minus your total sales amount. And then that will equal your discount, discount of total sales amount. And it's all calculated and coding under your calculation, your calculate button. And it's all here. So, so feel free to pause and look through this. And, and like I said, this is the most important step, especially uh, calculating sales. There's another one that I'm gonna do. It's on salary. That's like our ninth, uh, our ninth lab. So but other than that, like I said, I'm still new to this. I'm just showing you guys, you know, uh, what the lab was, the answers, and the coding here that, that needs to demonstrate uh, the actual sequence for this. So other than that, thanks for watching this. Like I said, I'm going to try and upload all the labs that I've done for C Sharp, and that way you guys can see uh, for yourself, you know, how to, uh, if you want to improve. I know I'm just showing answers, so, but um, to improve on yourself, and test it out for yourself, you know, test it out for yourself. And if you're new, like I said, this is one way of looking at, you know, uh, C sharp. And so, I, like I said, I'm not the best at explaining this because I'm still new. I'm, I'm new to all the terms and definitions. So, like, I can't, like, the try, catch, and finally, like, I see, I, like, I read the book, but, like, I forgot exactly what the full definition, what it does. So there's a lot of things in here to look in C sharp. Yeah. But other than that, I appreciate you guys watching this. And like I said, I'm going to upload some more labs that I've done uh, because they're coming to the end of the semester here.